Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking through some Godzilla found footage, and the title of it is called Living with Monsters. And I'm not gonna lie to you, is it in real life? Is it a scary Godzilla? I don't really know. The video is by Lost Utopia Films, though, and let's see. Let's see together. This is the blast of the hydrogen bomb. Oh, it's almost like a documentary a sound. Menacing era in the history of man. I like that, like an old Monsters. documentary. Already we saw but Godzilla skeleton. Really begin? Some point to the age of dinosaurs. Others point to Godzilla. The first major encounter between mankind and the monster. I like this little documentary Hello. feel. I'm Gene Maldonado. What's up, Gene? And I'm going to be your guide through this strange new world we face ahead. I like it. This is living with monsters. This is living with monsters. E with the hands coming up on the earth. I like it. Okay, Utopia, I see you. History of modern super fauna. All right. There's my boy G, the skeleton, skeleton and all, even though it, it doesn't look very big. Or as scientists have labeled them, for a Godzilla. Fauna, have been a common part of our world for nearly seven years now. 17 attacks on populated land. Dang. Currently, there are five active species of super fauna classified as a threat to mankind. Of course, Godzilla. He's a threat to mankind right now. Godzilla. It is the old one. Angerus. Canura. Who is that one? Gorgo. Gorgo. Finally, well, I know Manda. But where did I didn't know those previous two. Sightings of monsters have been recorded since the beginning of man. Ancient artifacts depict Madra. weird creatures associated with death. But the world was first introduced to monsters in the motion picture phenomenon King Kong that was so long ago bro and it kind of looks like how we're watching right now Skull Island prepare for a voyage to an island of death a land of terror and danger <laughs> I like it I like it a prehistoric world alive today it didn't look that good, I can tell you that. Kong didn't look that good, it was literally a man in a suit. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. And the people, like if he would grab them, they would look like clay as he like <laughs> did his motions. It was hilarious. I don't know if y'all have seen the first Kong or first Godzilla really. He wasn't crazy big like wow. we see him now, by Weird. the way. Wonderful. Stuff for which movies are made. He was a big boy. Chilling. The one and only King Kong. King Kong attracted viewers from around the world. At the premiere... Are we getting a King Kong, Kong documentary? I love this. ...as proof. Was, was that going to be Gamera? It was the common turtle. Oh, got him. Shout out, Kong. Ah, uh, here we go. Creating Godzilla with the nuke. There would be no new developments in the field of superfauna until four years later when the hydrogen bomb testing continued in the Bikini Atoll. While the Goofies. tests were successful, no one could have prepared for what came next. That's what y'all get, man. Using bombs for no Watch reason. Door, Everybody just get along. Was a gargantuan reptile. But no, we create Godzilla. Crazy. Gojira, or Godzilla, as he's called in the West, is a dinosaur-like species believed to be hidden in the Pacific for millions of years until the hydrogen bomb testing Could you imagine? to the surface. Scientists classify the creature as a member of the superfauna. Imagine seeing one of these in real life, bro. Like, no. Large animal species. Most, Most of them are in the ocean. In Japan, had and it makes sense. Of the creatures for centuries, Ocean's huge. But kept it a secret from the outside world. I don't know, bro. I don't know. The oh, what is that? Called themselves Kaiju Kai. A cult that not only... Oh, it's a mask. Okay. I was about to say. 
but would occasionally sacrifice their own members to the sea as a peace offering. A few days later, after the corpse washed ashore, That's terrible. another Godzilla sunk two ships near Tokyo Bay and began its path of destruction. Here he goes, man. Here he goes, causing havoc. Was set as Tokyo braced for the creature's landfall. They developed the anti-Godzilla wall that would surround the coastline and deter the creature with high- <laughs> Anti-Godzilla is crazy. <laughs> That's gonna get Godzilla out? Unfortunately, <laughs> Initial reports had miscalculated the size of the creature. You don't think? Assuming it to be that of a similar mass of the one that washed ashore. Oh, yeah, he's getting bigger. He's getting big, boy. By the way, he could just knock that over. He's getting hit with rockets. Missiles. And he steps on it. I mean, it's that easy. Or literally some telephone wire. This is sick, bro. Uh oh, atomic breath time. Get him. <laughs> Toasted. Toasted. Yo, this is crazy. The rage. The fury. It was unlike Dang. anything our world had ever felt. Dang! No conventional weaponry stopped the monster. Professor Kiyoe Yamane theorized that what washed ashore was an infant of the thesis. And what Tokyo faced was in fact the parent. It was just an infant. Also it was baby G. May have been provoking to Godzilla. So now Godzilla's mad, that bro. Theory would be put to the test Don't blame when Godzilla him. returned later that week. A citywide shutdown was enacted, resulting in Godzilla. Oh, look how scary no that is in the distance. Nah, that's crazy. This United is kind of like a, an a little Godzilla horror a little bit. The images of Godzilla's power and devastation shocked the panel of leaders. The found footage of Godzilla. The hydrogen bomb became a topic of discussion on how to eliminate Godzilla. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about it. The UN launched a joint mission between countries, codenamed Operation Kismet. Its existence... They need that secret. oxygen destroyer. The plan was to lure Godzilla into a specified area when he would be eliminated by the H-bomb. Yeah, we saw that in, uh... What's it called? The, the Amazon... Not the Amazon. Apple TV one? The Monarch series. It didn't do much at all, actually. I think it just made him more angry. That's sick. I like that shot. He picked up a boat. <laughs> he was gonna hit him with the boat. Three, two, one. Oh, that's gonna be my thumbnail. Godzilla in the middle of the ocean. Well deemed an initial success. Operation initial Kismet success? Was only a temporary fix. Shockingly, reports of another giant creature came in from Okinawa. Uh oh. Is it still Godzilla or is it like Manda or somebody? Oh, it might be Aang from the tail. The look of the tail. It's Aang. He said, Hey man, you're gonna hurt my friend? I bet. Let's get it. Bro, egg givers, they can make egg givers look so cool in like a modern version. Kind of how they did in the uh, in the anime with Godzilla Ultimate. I thought the egg givers looked sick in that. Not much was known about this horned behemoth, but it was moving towards Japan and it was moving fast. It was unclear why until news came from Tokyo. This boy was still alive. They are gonna fight though. Well, he's, he's, he's normally his boy in like these animations we'll be seeing. Dang, shut off the lights on him? Ah, here we go. They are gonna fight. <laughs> Let's go. Not friends right now. It's game time. Bro. 
Use that shell to block. Imagine having to fight something like that with spikes on it. So if you hit it, it's, it's going to hurt you too. Unless you got that atomic breath. But I imagine that tires out Godzilla pretty fast. If he keeps using it. Ooh. Who's this guy with the camera? He's goofy. There you go. Got him. Godzilla wins. Eventually, Angiris burrowed underground, deeming the territory Godzilla's. It traveled to New Zealand, where it has since been a constant threat to the island's inhabitants. Yeah, I just moved. News I would, of the battle shocked the world. Hope for normalcy was a thing of the past. Mankind had to now accept the possibility that we were no longer in control. Poor kitten. The great food chain. Poor people, man. Once again. The battle between Godzilla and Anguirus provided information on the superfauna we were unable to obtain by any other means. For example, various body parts of the creatures, including fins, teeth, and small appendages were found throughout the wreckage. They got souvenirs out here. Certain physical abilities they can do some tests on them. Towards evolutionary adaptation, such as Anguirus's natural ability to shield itself from Godzilla's atomic breath. With that shell, bro. Meaning, these species have evolved to battle each other throughout time. It's kind of sick. The Battle of Osaka was just the beginning. In Chile, the Chaitin volcano erupted. An ancient species of dragonfly awakened from hibernation. And of dragonfly? Small villages Who? In an abandoned mine. Who's the dragonfly? Oh no. Volcanologists still believe something larger may be within the volcano. Volcanologists? Is that what that's called? Somebody who studies we volcano? That's sick. Volcanologists? Anybody know Local a volcanologist out volcano. there? Can you? Ah, uh, here's this one that I've never seen before. Till just now. I love that. Learn something new every day. Did that guy just try to use a pistol on that thing? Cargo ships found entering the area to be impossible. You might as well throw then, a rock at it. Off the coast of Ireland, on the small island of Nara, sightings of a deep sea dinosaur, later named Gorka. Oh no, that's terrifying. He's got whales! Monster ...who only appears to be aggressive when attacked by fishermen or the local military. So, so don't attack him, you know? Or let him rock if he's not aggressive. Then finally, China. The giant serpent Manda hunts for food in the mountains. We know Manda's dangerous. Manda looks like a savage too, look at that. Look at that face. Savage. The Yamane theorized that further nuclear weapon use may have awoken these superfauna, who otherwise may have remained awoken, open. created, whatever it did. Don't use nukes, man. Species who had never lived together before suddenly had to compete over resources and territory. As noted by Kandra's home of Hawaii being within Godzilla's space, the conflicts have been numerous. This found footage is crazy, actually. Oh! Oh my! Hey, bow down. You already know, Godzilla's the man. He is the man, the myth, the legend. Who did he throw like that, by the way? He absolutely tossed somebody. Disrespectful. Took off the arm. Manda has been a constant rival where their territories collide in Hong Kong. Ooh, Godzilla versus Manda. I like that. I like that battle.
The arrival of the superfauna have had its positive impacts as well. Got to rebuild the city. History, have we seen mankind as united as it is today? Maybe that's what we need in today's world, man. Bring in Godzilla. Around the world are brought Let him do some work. This new threat. Bring us all together, man. That's what the we need, brother. In the wake of these attacks? See, we don't need those. We need the fertility of soil. love out here in this in world, man. Foods. Who's this guy? Well, What's he doing? Currently, scientists believe that within a few years, we'll be able to harvest and assist in the global hunger issue. That's beautiful. The United Nations has begun its process of crafting the Godzilla Counterattack Center. Petition to get attacked by Godzilla? With a singular goal of researching how to destroy Godzilla oh, no, man. and other similar threats. They've begun fast at work in developing resources and strategies. Underground? What if it was Amanda? He could just, you know? As well as create universal or aim. for detecting and monitoring super fauna activity. Currently, scientists are converging on Skull Island to conduct field research. They believe the secrets to the super fauna. I need to see like a Kong versus gods of the found footage. That'd be sick. I think that's next. I don't know if it's next, but it should be. As humanity bands together in these dark times, we become closer and closer to a day of peace. I love that. Love that. That will conclude today's program. This is Gene that was Maldonado, sick, bro. Inviting you to be with us again soon for another look at living with monsters. Living with monsters. What did you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments as we get a smooth shot of Godzilla's skeleton. And there we go. The end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Me personally, I, I like that. that. That's one of the best gods of the found footages that we've seen, in my opinion. I will see you guys tomorrow, though. Thank you for watching with me. I love ya. Goodbye.